So this 4.6 Godot blog post just dropped like a little over a week ago, but I wanted to make this video because there's an insane feature inside of this update. And it's something that we should have had like years ago. And it's kind of shocking that it's just now being implemented because it's so useful. Let me show you how it works quick. So basically there's this common thing in Godot where nodes can have resources attached to them. So for instance, my collision shape on this area node has a resource attached to it, which is this circle shape 2D. Now the issue with this is it's a bit difficult to keep track of. So if I duplicate my area 2D by default, my duplicated collision shape, which was a child of what I duplicated, is going to share that same resource reference, which means if I change the size of one of these circles, it's the same resource, so it's changing the size of both of them. So before 4.6, this has been kind of a nightmare to deal with. If you have custom resources attached in multiple areas, it's just really hard to find like where it's being used. Now, I believe if the resource is saved as its own file, you can right click the resource and select view owners, which is gonna show a list of like what is actually using the object. But even that's kind of tedious. So the new update gives us this little icon that you might've seen in the inspector and it's on this resource. So hovering over this, says this resource is used in two places, left click to make it unique. And that's something you're gonna to wanna to do a lot of the times. In this case, because we do want a unique shape, I'm just gonna click on this and boom, we have a unique collision shape that won't affect the node it was duplicated from. So that's kind of the whole feature, that's really it. Um, just wanted to show this though, because it's probably the most quality of life update we've gotten in a while. So when I eventually upgrade to 4.6, I'm going to be using this all over the place. In my main project, I have like a stats system that's using custom resources. And it's actually the same one I made a tutorial for if you want to watch that video uh, should be in the card that way. But each one of those stats resources has like sub resources in my game. So this is definitely going to be helpful. But anyways, thank you for watching the video. Big thanks to all the channel supporters. If you want to see more like Godot news and tutorial content, be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.